¿Qué pasa to the pack? It is pack here. AKA your mama's best friend, your daddy's worst nightmare. So something that I didn't even know was happening was that 2K is like updating their player face scans almost every single day. Before they would have like big patches that would just drop a bunch of face scans. Now they're going to like the legendary players, current NBA players and doing it throughout the year, almost every single day. And the reason I found this out is because Razor, he has been a mod in the 2K community for a long time. He was hired by 2K a couple years ago. And just lately this year, he's starting to make face scan updates basically every either every day or every other day so first of all follow him on twitter he, he talks about it every single day but i'm gonna go over all the ones he's updated so far this year and i plan on talking about all the ones he makes throughout the year so if you like that kind of content please join the pack and subscribe let's get it man first up we have michael alawakandi so Michael Alawakandi was the first pick in the draft. He's one of the worst first pick in the drafts of all time with the Clippers. Super, super infamous player, right? He was bad, but this face scan is absolutely amazing. Uh, it just looks amazing. It's it's very good. And you might think like, oh, but this isn't even important, right? Or like this doesn't even matter because this guy's not on like any of the teams or any of the all-time teams, but it does matter. The my team cards that exist, it's important to have the face scans correct. If you do drafts like the, you know, because they have the drafts of every single NBA year in my NBA, it's important to have every single NBA player look as good as possible, no matter how insignificant, even though he is significant because he was freaking the first pick in the draft. Of course he's significant. He absolutely matters. I'm I'm so happy they fixed him. It looks fantastic. Up uh, next, we have Sam Vincent. So, Sam Vincent, I just apologize in advance right now, gentlemen. On the left is what Sam Vincent used to look like. Oh, listen, bro, I'm so sorry. You know you cannot tell because it is that was the only photo I could find online, and it is super, super blurry. But that's what Sam Vincent used to look like. This is what he looks like now. Bear with me here. You can tell that they had the fade correctly, the hairs right, the head shape, the mustache. It's just a high definition. The thing is, this is the big issue about face scans before. Before, they had the PS3 face scans added onto the PS4 face scans in like the new games. And then they never decided to change a lot of them or they kept a lot of them for the PS4 versions into the PS5 versions. This is an example of a PS3 player that was never really fixed or changed. And when we got to the PS5, it was maybe time to fix it. And here we are. It looks so, so much better. The mustache is the most impressive part, like the detail on the mustache itself. I'm very impressed. And again, maybe not the most important player all time. He was a good player for a couple years and deserves this. Up next, we have Buck Johnson. Buck Johnson had multiple years where he was good for multiple different teams. I know the Bullets, the Rockets, multiple years. You can see the, the face scan on the left to the right is almost identical. I mean, the eye positioning, the mustache, the hair, the fade on the hair, the head shape, the ears. This is actually, I'm not gonna say like graphically this is super impressive, but like in terms of like one-to-one -one comparison, this is like almost perfect. I don't see any issues with this at all. Maybe like, I don't even know. Even like the, the mark on the mouth on both sides is like almost perfect. We gotta admit, this is one of the most impressive ones I've ever seen. Razor is killing it. I'm so glad they've hired him because he's really addressing all these. And like, he's making like one a day. There's a realistic case where like at the end of the year, everyone's done perfectly. Up next, we have Eric Dampier. I have Eric Dampier here. You know, he maybe he wasn't the most like famous NBA player of all time, but he has multiple good seasons with the Warriors and the Mavericks. And I just think this is just an impressive face scan in of itself. Now on the left, it's an older Eric, right? But it still looks like him. The headband, the head shape, the beard. I think the most impressive thing is that he added the mole on his lip. What a small detail to find and he added it anyways. You gotta admit, that's an impressive attention to detail that's added and focused on into this face scan update. It's super impressive that he did this. Um, the beard itself is actually really, really detailed as well. I'm impressed, uh, just another player where, not the most famous player of all time, a very detailed specific player, and yet he got it perfect. That's impressive. Up next, this is actually a really, really cool one with Michael Cage. So a Supersonics player. Man, look at this dude's hair, bro. Look at his hair. He's got that super like 80s kind of thing going on with like the slick back hair, very, very shiny. Added perfectly onto the game. It's really impressive how he did it. The, the beard's added. The little like mole on his cheek is added. Super crazy detailed player. Uh, the only things is that like the eyes are a little too far apart to me. And another thing that I've noticed with, with players is that with, with eye color. So they have some players with like blue eyes, green eyes, and then they have brown eyes, but they don't have black 
eyes like just straight up like no color on like outside of the people at all people have black eyes i don't understand why they wouldn't add it they gave them brown eyes instead i'm like there's a difference between brown and black in eye color so that's something that i feel like they need to change like 2k needs to change itself but this is a great absolutely great face scan uh, maybe the hairline's a little wrong but still almost perfect up next we have sydney green now sydney green i believe played with michael jordan for a little bit i believe I'm, I'm, maybe i'm wrong here but more importantly the face scan very good you know you always want to make sure you have all of jordan's teammates especially when you're doing the jordan challenges to be as accurate as possible and this is almost perfect the beard hair face skin tone everything is like almost perfect and what can you say again you know, man, we're trying to get to the NBA players that have like a little bit of significance in the NBA. And this one's actually a very important one to have right. Up next, we have Tim Thomas. Tim Thomas was in the NBA for a long time, having a lot of good seasons. Here he is, the Milwaukee Bucks version of Tim Thomas, the beard, which you don't see on the left, but that's how he had his beard for most of his career. It's super detailed where it's like, it's like the goatee part is the darkest part, but his beard was still dark, but not as dark. And like, that's a super detailed way to do that very good the face scan is actually perfect you can tell the nose is like perfectly done very very good face scan i'm i'm thinking they need to add the bucks team that went to the conference finals against the 76ers and lost to them because that team was really good and they have the players you know ray allen glenn robinson tim thomas multiple players on that team that they have they could make that all team team right now i don't know why they don't but super good face scan very very impressive now we have robert pack on the denver nuggets Robert Pack had multiple seasons averaging like 13, 14 points per game. You know, one of a, well, you know, very famous point guard for a long time during the 90s. They had the hairstyle perfect. You can see on the left how it used to be. You know, for some reason they made him cross-eyed back then. But you could tell that like on the left, I'm not saying on the left it looks bad. Because, you know, in the PS3, that looks pretty good. But on the PlayStation 5, that's how it needs to look on the right. So much better. The fade on the hair, the little detail on like the, the forehead he has. The, the eye positioning, the face itself. You can tell that they're both the same person, but one is just in a more improved generation. And it looks fantastic. I'm super proud of 2K. And Razor for getting this perfect. Up next, we have Fred Jones. 2K was kind of promoting Fred Jones a lot in their My Team packs, I think, in the beginning of the year. And probably it's because Razor did such a good job. I mean, the face scan is literally perfect. This is a dunk contest winner, so obviously they, they want to get those guys right as well. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a super fun player to use who's going to have crazy dunks in the game. At the same time, you have his face scan. Plus, he had really good stats for like one year with the, the Indiana Pacers. It's a good one. Uh, so, I think this is one to call it out. I think the next step for 2K, because the face scans, assuming Razor gets all the face scans done this year, the next step to me is, is body. Because this dude's shoulders are like very specific to himself that maybe no one else has shoulders like that in the NBA. That needs to be added specifically to him. You can see that the chest hair on the left is not on the right. I, I want these players to be as realistic as possible. And the face scans are perfect, but let's start getting into more details. Now that we have someone that's working at 2K that can do these details, that be that would be flames. That's that's awesome. Up next we have Carlos Arroyo. Dude, look at the left on the right, bro. That's crazy that the left even ever existed back in the PS3. The, I mean, first of all, the skin tone is completely different from the arms to the face. The, the face scan itself is terrifying, it's like a, like a baby. On the right, that is how Carlos Arroyo, one of the greatest Puerto Rican players of all time, looks for most of his career. The, the eyebrows, as thick as they are, and a different color from his hair, the head shape, the beard. Now, it's not like really a beard, but it's like kind of coming out like he shaves, but he still has a darkened face the moles on his chin. I mean, literally the attention to detail here is so insane for a player that was never like one of the greatest of all time. And yet he's doing this good of a job. It's so impressive how Razor has done this one. And applause to this one. Up next, Vinny Del Negro. Bro, what is this? That is crazy. That left, this is what I think happened in, in the PS3 era where they never updated Vinny. Is that they said because the camera was so far away, and his hair has like a poofy piece up top that like, I guess 2K thought it would be okay enough that people wouldn't tell. But like, why does he have almost no eyebrows? Why is his head deformed? I don't know, that's that's crazy to me. On the right, it's just leagues and bounds so much better. And an important player that was on a championship level Spurs team. Like he needs to be done right. And there you go. Up next we have the Jet himself, Kenny the Jet Smith, left and right. So. 
some people on the uh, on, on Twitter were saying that this actually doesn't even look like Kenny the Jet. So I'll say this, it's not perfect. There's something about the face that doesn't really hit, but goodness gracious, on the left, it is so much better than whatever the hell the, um, the left was. I don't care what anybody says, I'd rather see the right every single day of the week than whatever the left was. That is terrifying. That is something else. That is a creature. 2K, Razor, much better job, bro. Because, oh my god. Up next, we have Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson was an all-star, had multiple good years. On the left, it's not bad, but on the right, it is just so much better. That thick, you know, headband that they used back then, they have it in the game now. The beard is way better, the face scan. Top to bottom, up, down, left, right, however you want to say it much much better do you think maybe the skin tone is a little incorrect but besides that this is basically perfect up next we have hersey hawkins who's had multiple years 76ers and i believe other teams hersey hawkins was a very very good player for a very long time and yeah a pretty straightforward player that they got right i don't have the before and after of hersey hawkins but the, here's a actual picture of him and in 2k and it looks great now we have otis thorpe so on the left it is not what he used to look like that is a modded version of otis thorpe before and here's the after. I could not find the before and after of this. I'm sorry. I tried to look everywhere. I could not get it. But it's simple as if they, if they needed to mod Otis in the first place, and it must have been pretty bad. They got him right. And he's an important player to get right. He was the second option on a championship team with Hakeem. You know, you, you got to make sure you get someone like him right. They even have the scars on the head. Is And the chin is a beautiful detail. A pretty important player to get right. We have Meta World Peace, but I'll be honest with you, on the left and the right is pretty damn similar. They are completely two different face scans, but I'm not gonna lie, they already had it right. It's just that the skin, like, like the coloring of the skin was a little wrong on the left, and they definitely got it right on the right. But yeah, I mean, Meta World Peace as was a great player in Indiana, was a important player on the championship teams of the Lakers, you know, had a long career of important roles. It's important to have him in 2K. I hope they add him onto the all-time team and stuff like that, because he needs to be. Now we have the other Cliff Robinson. So this was another player that had multiple all-star seasons. He was on the Cavaliers for a long time. I was not able to find him before and after, and I wasn't even able to find a good picture of him, but you can tell from the left and the right, it does look like him. The hair must be not be easy to make, you know, when, when like the back of it and the front of it are two completely different things, and he found a way to do it. The beard is perfect. Very impressive, not an easy one, especially when there's very few photos of Cliff Robinson out there. Impressive. And next we have Terry Porter. This was one for a long time. When I would look at it, I was like, bro, this looks bad. That left, I don't know, it looked like an Eggman. I don't know what was their plan back then, but Terry Porter looks so much better on the right now with the beard, the head shape, the eyebrows are added. Look at that. The nose is super detailed. You know, this is one of the greatest Trailblazers players of all time. It's important to get him right, and this is almost perfect really good job up next josh smith so it sucks because josh smith isn't on the all-time hawk so we can't even use him unless you're playing my team but yeah the the left was just terrible it, it maybe it was good back in the ps4 days but but on the right i'm so glad they addressed it it looked like night and day completely different on the right and left it looks so much better on the right and last one the most important one in my opinion george mcginnis so george mcginnis is an all-time 76er I believe also on another team, but listen, he's a really great player for a very long time in the NBA. And oh my goodness, that left looks atrocious. The eyes, the way they did the eyes was horrendous. The nose looked like it was glitched. The beard looks like a piece of plastic added onto his face. The hair looked nappy. A top down, left, right, terrible. Maybe one of the worst face cans of all time was finally addressed today after like seven years. Wow, Razor did an amazing job here. It literally, you know, the, the scar on the forehead, the hairline, the beard, the eyes aren't easy to do because he does have darkening on the eyes, but it makes it look normal there. The nose was the better, like just so much better here. And it's crazy it took him this long to fix it. Those are all the major face cam changes that I found. What do you think about all of them? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.